Academies SBAD 13. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selesky and welcome to another exciting episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box where we are going to look at the SPAD 13 from Academy. Now this airplane came out and hit the airfield on April 4th, 1917. So let's go see this scary terror of the German air airfields as the Allies came back with a more improved SPAD. Now let's go see what's in the box. And now we're going to look at another airplane from World War I, the SPAD 13, which was the best SPAD ever made. Now this comes from Academy, which is a Korean-based company. And I've built a few of these in the past. They are good kits. So let's just pull the lid off here and take a look inside. Now I'm going to take the parts out, just move it over here. Now you get this nice uh, warning paper from Academy. And I've seen these cartoon characters all over. They're quite funny. This one doesn't have it, but I've seen ones where they've got like, make sure you do not cut yourself with a knife. And it's got a little finger with blood squirting out. <laughs> Silly things, you know? Okay, so. These are our instruction sheets to begin with. Now you'll notice this symbol. Uh, in World War I, this is going backwards to the not-so-famous World War II symbol. But in World War I, that symbol was a symbol for good luck. Whereas in World War II, it was twisted around to be a bad symbol. So, there it gives you English right away. The French-built SPAD-13 was one of the most famous fighters of World War I. And it goes into why. <laughs> so, now on the back, the instructions are pretty tiny, but very thorough. Again, we have the H struts, just like the SPAD-7 Airfix kit I reviewed earlier, which I'll link you to at the end of this video. This kit came out in 1986, so it is quite an old one. And basically the construction is pretty straightforward. You do not get a pilot in this kit, however. So uh, let's look at the decal sheet, which is still in a bag, but you can see through it. So now this is the American version. The roundels are red on the outside, blue in the center, and a white dot in the very middle. You can either use the backward symbol, or you can use the Indian heads for the two different squadrons that it was in. And this stripe goes on one of the wings on the top. And now I will have to open this bag. So I brought my scissors this time because it might be a little hard to maneuver a knife while I'm holding it. Now, as you can see, the detail on these ribs is quite pronounced. It looks very nice. I like the thicker cross bracing underneath there. And again, it suffers from those sinkholes, but not as many as on the Airfix kit, for sure. The Airfix one had them all the way going across. This one only has them in three places. One of the places is being covered, and that's on your bottom wing the one going into the fuselage. But still, very simple, straightforward. Okay, here is the second sprue tree, and you can see the ribs here are quite pronounced. There are more louvers, and you even get the little spokes in the wheels, which is a nice detail. Machine guns drop in, they're paired. They drop in from the top, they sit right there on our body. And yeah, now let's look underneath. They're, they don't have any of the cross bracing inside that is just going to get covered and you'll never see anyway. So for me, I kind of recommend this Academy one a little more over the Airfix one. But 
of course, again, if you need a SPAD 7, you're not going to find it in the Academy kit. So, that brings us to the conclusion of our SPAD 13 What's in the Box episode. We hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box as we looked at the SPAD 13 from Academy in 172nd scale. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. Now, if you would like to support our great video series, please do so by visiting us on our Monster Hobbies um, YouTube homepage and look in the banner where you can see the little PayPal icon. Click there and it'll guide you to do the rest. And if you would like to check out our model airplane collection that's available for you online to buy, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca and I'll put a link below specifically for our model aircraft section. And if you'd like to see some other great model airplane videos, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here and click the notifications so you'll know when the next aircraft video comes. And until next time, happy flying!